Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price and also compare it to the DXY because we have some very nice price action going on right now. So currently I'm stuck at my parents home because we had overnight massive snowfall here so I'm not able anymore to drive back home. So I'm recording this video now with my notebook. I hope the quality is okay and and that you can hear me well all right my friends we're gonna start here in the four hour time frame because bitcoin yesterday had this attempt here to have this possible breakout to the upside above forty two thousand dollar so currently you can see that we're getting rejected right here at 40k if we are connecting these two tops that we had here once we reached $42,000 you can see that this trend line here gives us the perfect resistance that we're having right now in order to go way higher. So if we are able to break this resistance we should expect here a possible breakout. The measured breakout could take us towards $50,000 and as I told you my friends this could maybe be a possible blow off top. I fought towards $47,000 thousand dollar but here the theoretical target of this wedge that we are in currently would bring us towards fifty thousand dollar so let's wait and see my friends we still need this breakout to happen we need at least a one hour or four hour close above this resistance line currently at around forty thousand dollar in order to take here a nice long position and trade this breakout to the upside this is my potential trade that i'm gonna take if i see here a breakout to the upside and also confirmation so if you want to take this trade make sure to be ready over on bybit or femex here you can trade bitcoin and other cryptos with leverage so although with small money you can do very nice gains and if you still need an account use my links down below here in the video description because with these links you will get some extra money if you take my referral links and uh, yeah in case that we're gonna see a breakout to the downside so if we're gonna lose here the support that we currently have at around $35,600 then make sure that you have a short position ready because if we're gonna drop below and also confirm it as a resistance this could be also a nice short opportunity so if you want to take this short then make sure to put it right here as soon as we break out to the downside and also confirm it because in that case the target could be down here at around $27,000 this is also where the 200 moving average currently is lining up in the 4 hour and that's why that could be a reasonable target to be reached in case that we're gonna drop here to the downside so usually i don't recommend to short my friends because bitcoin is still looking bullish and we should expect higher prices very soon but since there is a very high chance that we could break out here to the downside as well and our head and shoulders pattern here would be still intact if we're gonna break out here to the downside then this $27,000 target could be just the beginning. Maybe there, if we're not able to recover straight back up, we could see continuation to the downside, potentially to our important moving averages that we're gonna cover later on in the weekly time frame. So I think if you plan to short because you think Bitcoin will go again towards 20K, then this could be the possible beginning here in case that you want to stack up some shorts. But generally, I don't recommend to short Bitcoin. It's always better if you look for good long opportunities. So maybe you just wait in case that we're going to break out here to the downside to start longing Bitcoin. Because at the end, Bitcoin will go anyway way higher. And that's why you should consider to look now for good long opportunities. And in the four hour, of course, right now we have a confirmed sell signal. But the RSI is just coming down to the 50 level. And also we are approaching a very important support here at around 30 $36,600. This is also where the 20 moving average is lining up. So as long as we're trading above this moving average in the four hour, the momentum should be shifted to the upside and everything is looking good here for a breakout to the upside because usually those are continuations patterns and Bitcoin therefore should be also breaking out to the upside. Only if something is going to happen, maybe some FUD news or maybe also the DXY is going surprisingly to pump like crazy, then this could of course lead into a breakout to the downside here and this $27,000 could be just the beginning of a major 
correction. And now let's compare the four hour time frame to the DXY because as you can see the DXY is still fighting with this 200 moving average. So far we didn't have a bigger rejection here and that of course is very very dangerous my friends. We're still here fighting the 200 moving average in the 4 hour. We had yesterday a little attempt here to break again to the upside but this also was a fake out and right now again the DXY is trying to push higher and higher. So let's wait and see what will happen here in the next couple of hours or days. I think latest during the weekend or next Next week we're gonna see here a big breakout to the upside or a big rejection because I don't think that the DXY will hold these levels for very long. So in my opinion it's all gonna be depending what the DXY is doing if we're gonna see continuation to the upside in the Bitcoin price and of course in the altcoin space as well. But next to cryptos I think that also the stock market will be very heavy affected by a possible breakout here to the upside from the DXY. So let's wait and see what will happen here and now let's go back to the bitcoin chart and open up the daily time frame because here as you can see yesterday we had a perfect close above the nine daily moving average so above thirty seven thousand eight hundred dollar and so far it looks like that we are now trying to go again lower than that but we are currently supported by the nine daily moving average so if today we can close above thirty eight thousand dollar we should be gearing again to the upside and here a breakout to the upside is even more likelier because if we now confirm this again as a support then we should be seeing bitcoin going higher and higher only if today we're gonna go again to drop below and also have this breakout to the downside and this was a fake out and we will see bitcoin potentially go again towards the 20 daily moving average here at $34,000 and i think maybe with the next attempt to test this moving average we may be then gonna see a possible drop here to lower levels but everything so far is still looking good let's wait and see where we're gonna close today's candle currently we are in a very critical point where we have to decide if we're gonna continue our uptrend or if you're in here for a potential correction and the daily time frame is still looking good we cooled off here also the rsi we are trading right at the 50 level so everything is pointing out right now that we're gonna see here continuation to the upside so let's wait and see also if we have a look into the bollinger bands you can see that we're still trading on the bullish side so as long as we're closing above thirty-four thousand dollars, the trends should be still shifted to the upside and the bullish thing here is that currently the stochastic is oversold and we are having a bullish cross here so the stochastic has a lot of room to go to the upside so I think we could see continuation to the upside here incoming pretty soon we have to lose significant support levels like the $34,000 level to look again more bearish than bullish but so far everything is again pointing out that we will see continuation to the upside even though the DXY is looking a bit dangerous but Bitcoin in my opinion now has again a chance to go to new all-time highs and if we have a look here into the DXY in the daily you can clearly see that currently we are closing daily candles above the 20 and 9 daily moving average and the 9 daily moving average currently is again in a uptrend so here based on the moving averages it looks like that the dxy currently has formed a local bottom and we will see continuation here to the upside so if we're able to break out here from this resistance at around 90 dollars i'm expecting the dxy to go towards our previous important support area which now could be our new resistance here between 9240 and 9450 so between these two price levels i'm expecting the dxy to come if here we're gonna see a breakout to the upside and therefore we could be in this major correction in bitcoin that we are potentially gonna see anytime soon and these two price levels are also right here between the 100 and 200 daily moving average so i don't think that the dxy is going higher than that and that's why i think if we're gonna see here a pump in the dxy we have to keep a very close eye on these two moving averages here and these price levels so as you can see my friends there are some danger in front of us if we have a look here into the dxy and keep in mind that if we're gonna see here a breakout to the down Downside. the first potential support area is at around 27,000 to 30k but if the price is going lower then just watch out for the nine weekly moving average currently here at $27,000 exactly
exactly at our potential target here in case of a breakout to the downside but if this price level will not hold we might gonna see continuation towards a 20 weekly moving average at around 18,500 at the time of recording it is possible my friends that we're gonna reach this price level if we see a massive sell-off and 27,000 will not hold I'm pretty confident personally that 27,000 will be a very strong support but if you see the price going lower then put in your longs and buy orders down here at the 20 weekly moving average so let's say between 18,500 and 20,000 dollar because if the DXY is going to have this massive pump that I think it could happen in the not so distant future, then watch out that we could see a massive correction down to those levels and you want to be ready to buy as much as possible if we're gonna see such a chance to buy so cheap Bitcoin because it is still in the cards, my friends. And you definitely don't want to miss out in buying more Bitcoin if we're going to see such a scenario which is still in the cards. Everything is still looking like that we're going to see here a breakout to the upside and Bitcoin will continue to go higher and higher. But this potential short-lived dump, in my opinion, is still in the cards, especially if we look here into the DXY chart. So be very careful, my friends, if you have opened some longs right now or also if you're taking this breakout trade here always use a stop loss as soon as you are in profits to lock in the profits and never be too greedy because like that you will also secure your trade in case that it's going to revert very fast that you get out with profits and you can look then for another new entry so if you want to trade this potential dump or pump here then make sure that you're ready over on Bybit or Femex use my referral links down below here and currently we also have some bonus going on on Bybit if you use this voucher code in the rewards hub and if you don't feel too much comfortable in trading yourself with leverage then maybe try out Prime XPT because here you can easily just register with your email top up some Bitcoin and then just click here on follow on the traders that you want to follow and currently we have some that have over thousands of percent of gains so maybe try with a small amount of money to copy trade one of these traders and then you will see how it's gonna work out for you I personally use this next to my own trading with a small amount of money of course if I would have put it more in there I would made even more gains because recently many of them were very very profitable but since I like to trade more myself I have the most of my money always in Bybit and Phoenix where I trade with leverage and remember to use also my referral link down below here for Prime XPT if you want to support the channel and feel free to join our community also over on Discord and Twitch all the links are down below here to my other channels and if you're completely new in the crypto space then make sure to use my Swissborg, Binance and Coinbase referral links because if you register to those exchanges you can buy all the cryptos that you want with your bank account or credit card and if you use my invitation links you will also get some more bonus and money so you can buy even more cryptos with your first deposit and for all the coinbase users out there we have still a lot of slots free to claim some free altcoins you can get for free some compound orchid stellar band protocol and so on just by clicking here the invitation links to coinbase earn like this you can get these free altcoins and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you again very much for all your great support lately we are hitting always records day by day with views and likes so thank you very much for your support very much appreciated my friends so don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye for now